All right, today we're going to do the oil change on the 1993 Yamaha River. Um, I've never done an oil change on this one, so it'll be interesting how it turns out. Um, she starts, she runs, she drives, but uh, there's a whole bunch of uh, maintenance stuff I need to do before I put the covers on. And... Uh, get this all going. So the next few videos are going to be about the Yamaha River. So uh, let me get you set up. We'll do a quick oil change. Uh, we're going to try and keep these short, short little videos once a week. So. Now I've never done an oil change on this bad boy. Here's the oil fill. Here's the oil level. I can tell you there's enough oil in the system. But I don't know how to drain the oil. So I thought this cover here is my transmission cover. And I was expecting this under this cover to be dry. Uh, a belt uh, driven inside here. And... Uh, I can see that there's oil here. So, in order to do an oil change, do I need to take the cover off? Is the belt wet? It doesn't make sense. There should be a transmission here, a clutch, a clutch, uh, zoom, zoom, and I guess not. So, there's this nut here which has a hex head allen head that's mostly stripped out. And I did not do that. So, I want to put a wrench on here and crack this loose. It's the lowest part of the engine. And you would think that's where the oil would be. So let me see what happens here. If I crank on this a little bit, probably make the bike fall on my head. <clears throat> No, I don't want to go go. Damn. Hmm, do I got to loosen that? Is it a locking nut on a bolt? On a drain plug? Does that make sense to you? And what's this thing for? I'm going to get a screwdriver and see what this is. Here you go. The inappropriate screwdriver. Alright, what's in here? So that is a dry belt. This is a belt inspection window. So, the belt looks okay from here. Doesn't look bad at all. Let's see here. Can I turn it? No. Hmm. Okay. Back to how the hell do you change the oil? Two questions. What kind of oil should I put into it? 
It says here 1,000 cc cms. <coughs> Whatever the hell that is. And where is the oil filter? If there is one. I mean, this thing looks like a lawnmower engine. You wouldn't have an oil filter on a lawnmower. So. See everything just fine. Still dripping oil. Yeah, it's dirty. I'm going to go find out what kind of oil to put into this thing, and I will be back. She's done draining. Move the drippy catcher out of the way. All right. Clean the plug. are going to be watching for oil right there I went and bought nothing but the second best my ace 5w30 it's what I'm using it's what I got well that's interesting Uh, pour it in slowly. Oh, I just realized you can't see what I'm doing. There you go. Getting there, coming up, it's right here. I want it about three quarters of the way up, I think. Come on, baby. There you go. That's where I'm leaving it. Calling that full. Um, good enough. Certainly, certainly clean now. That's the whole goal of an oil change. I am going to buy a service manual for this bike. And uh, I need to see if there's an oil filter somewhere on here I'm missing. You know, so under this cover, under that cover, I don't know. I can't find a YouTube video on what the hell. Apparently, the uh, the Yamaha 125 or XC 125 is unique to this bike. Uh, they they didn't use it on any year, any other years or models. So. That's why you can't find a carburetor for these things. It's a one year only for that bad boy. So, all right, oil change is done. I say let's start it up. Let it run for a minute and check the oil again. All right, so we are going to do that up. Come in here. Oh. Got the all Berryman's B12. Let's see if I can open that up. And 
uh, I am going to add a little bit here. Glug, 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 glug. That should be enough. It only holds about a gallon of uh, gasoline, so let's see how that works on cleaning out that engine. I'm putting in my uh, long boy lawnmower today because it was the first time I cut the grass and uh, it seemed to run better. The shelf of chemicals. All right. So now I have to add some gas. So hang out with me for a minute, would you? Sit over here on the bench. Check it out. Uh, do the air filter and the oil filter I'm told is under this cover so um, when I took this apart I didn't pay any attention to how this foot peg assembly goes together so I'm not sure how that goes on here Eh, we'll save that for another day. Let's do the air filter. I bought some uh, JIS bits. And I painted them red. So I can always tell which ones they were. Comes in handy. One more in there, dang it. So, this filter has about 300 miles on it. This is just a screen inside here. So, um, I'm gonna go wash that out. They just say run water through it. I'm gonna read the directions and find out. I think they say put a little bit of oil on here, squeeze it out. Let's see what's under cover number two. Looking in the service manual, and the service manual has an arrow pointing right there for an oil filter. I do not see an oil filter. Clutch is what I thought I would find in there. But you got the oil fill and the oil level right here. So, 
Good enough for me. Uh, reading the service manual again. Now yeah, I'll clean this cover out. I got that all cleaned up. Real exciting. I have some uh, two-stroke oil here. Here, I'm going to just mash it all together. A nice even coat. So, that's how you clean the air filter on the Yamaha. Uh, check for leaks. All right. So So, we're right in about the same ballpark. When it's running, it's down to here. About that far. So, uh, well, I'll start it up. I'll show you. Don't believe me. call that an oil change on my Yamaha River. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. Well,